In the previous video, we have discussed how to connect multiple IP cameras from several locations to the control room by using the fiber optic cables. We have implemented standard network topology instead of the daisy chain to avoid the single failure point. I will put the link on the top right screen in case you want to review it. We received another message from your guide. He mentioned that he has a quite similar setup scenario, but he wants to use the KFI or K6 Ethernet cables instead of the fiber optic cables because it's the production area. He knew the fiber optic cable is made of the glasses, which is vulnerable. We cannot overbend the fiber optic cables, otherwise, we will break this cable directly. It is also not easy to repair the fiber optic cables without a special fusion tool. There's major challenges in this setup by using the KFI or K6 Ethernet cables. It is the distance. If you read the specifications of the network switch, it's always specified that distance by using the UTP cables is 100 meters. Now we need to extend the distance up to five times of the standard specifications. How to crack it? Let's find out in this video. There are several locations the client needs to install the IP cameras and bring the signal back to the control room. The maximum length between the last location and the control room is about 500 meters. I think if we can handle the network connection between the last location and the control room, we should be able to deal with the rest of the locations. This is the KFI Ethernet cables. The row on the bottom is 300 meters and the row on the up is 200 meters. We have this waterproof coupler. Let's use this coupler to put these two cables together to have 500 meters. There's no active device built in, it's just the coupler. Now the cable is ready, let's move to the control room. Just one thing, should we use the KFI or K6 Ethernet cables? It doesn't matter in this setup, but what matters is you should pick the cable which is made of the pure copper. It's 100% copper made. All right, in the control room, we need one device called long range PoE switch. This is the 24 port long range PoE switch. The last eight port, which is labeled in green, has the long range chipset built in. It can push the data up to 500 meters with the network speed up to 100 megabit per second. Let's power up this long range PoE switch. and connect the 500 meter cables to one of the PoE ports. We pick the last long range PoE port, port 24, and use another short patch coat to link this network video recorder to this uplink port. All right, the setup is ready in the control room. Let's move to the first location. We are going to place a long range PoE switch in the second location. This is the A port long range PoE switch. The first A port has the long range chipset built in. It can push the data up to 500 meters. Now let me power up this long range PoE switch and connect the cable from this control room to one of these PoE ports and use another short patch coat to link camera to this PoE switch. Now this switch is sending power to this IP camera. You will see the live video on the monitor in just a minute. You may ask whether we can use the regular PoE switch at the remote side or not. Since I said the long range PoE switch in the control room can push the data up to 500 meters. But it's not going to work if you use the regular PoE switch because the TCP IP protocol is the two way communication. Both sides need to push the data up to 500 meters to establish this long run. If we just place the regular PoE switch at the remote side, it's not going to establish the long run network. Now we have the live video on the monitor, the camera's live at this moment. 
just want to remind you now we didn't use any PoE extender between the control room and the remote side. It purely just the cable with a coupler to put these two cables together to have 500 meters. There's one more thing to concern, it is the reliability. The whole system will be deployed it in the production area and the KFIE or K6 Ethernet cable is the copper cable. The surge could enter into this copper cable and travel to one end or another. Eventually, it could damage our long-range PoE switch. The longer the cable, the more chance the, this cable could absorb the surge. We have 500 meters. It's about five times longer than the standard network. So I'm going to add the surge protector at both ends to cancel the surge. This is the A port surgery protector. There's eight input port and A output port. Let me attach this surge protector to the wall. Just one point now that int doesn't mean the signal int. It stands for the cable which could carry the surge. So it's take the cable from outside. Let me remove the cable from the long range PoE switch and connect to one of these Ethernet port. Use a short patch code to link another end to our search protector. Let's connect it to our long range period switch. Let's move to the second location. We are going to use one in one out search protector to cancel the search from the outside. Let's remove the cable and connect it to the input port of this search protector and use a short patch code to link the output port to our long range PoE switch. Of course we also need to grant both search protector properly. Alright that's all for today's video. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe. You will receive the notification once we release a new video. See you next time.